Attorney General Letitia James says she's dropping out because the work of the Attorney General's office isn't done and it's far too important. But political analysts believe this really comes down to a dip in polling and the all important race for campaign cash. The race for New York's next governor lost one of its most prominent names Thursday when Attorney General Letitia James bowed out. Quote, I've come to the conclusion that I must continue my work as Attorney General. There are a number of important investigations and cases that are underway and I intend to finish the job. I'm running for re-election to complete the work New Yorkers elected me to do. Part of that work in one of those big cases involves the ongoing prosecution of the Trump Organization. As the Attorney General was bowing out of the governor's race, news leaked she's seeking to sit for a four Formal chat with the former president and discuss the way his company does business. The AG's office declined comment, but current governor Kathy Hochul did speak. This is a very bad day for Donald Trump and the NRA when we have when we have Tish James, one of the finest attorney generals in the country, very focused on making sure that justice is done. Hochul and James have been painted as worthy adversaries. Thursday's news allows more of that all-important campaign cash to flow towards other candidates. I look forward to having her uh, on the ticket as we head into the November election together. James's other competitors, Jumani Williams and Congressman Tom Swazi, released statements saying in part, I'm grateful for our collaboration and I'm glad to be able to continue that work together to bring bold progressive transformational change on behalf of the people of New York. Quote, I offer my best wishes to Attorney General James as she continues to pursue her deep calling to public service. Democratic strategist Basil Smichel believes this news is actually quite good for Democrats statewide. It's a win-win for New York. We get a, a history-making governor. We get a history-making attorney general that might very well, um, b both of them, stay in their respective offices. As far as the timing of this announcement, the primary is in June, but a lot of people are still at home, and this election will require more ads, more flyers, more money to make your case, which is why a move like this is best done sooner rather than later. Lori. All right. Teresa, thank you.